Jonathan. No, I meant, what are you doing here? Oh, just, um, not much, really. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, who are you? Right, Emily. Uh, are you all right? Yes. No. H how did you get here? I walked from the road end. I got a ride just as far as the lock gate. The gate's a bummer. Yeah. That's a long walk. This is the only bat I know. On the road that ends at the river mouth. That's right. The only way out's the way you came. I booked it. I booked this bat. Okay. I think you know that. Nah, I'm I'm booked in here. How? What What do you mean? How did you book the batch? Online. What site? A book of batch. Are you sure it's for tonight? The eighth and tomorrow night too, out on the tenth. Okay, that's um damn. I have a confirmation email. I'll just Yeah, there's um no coverage. It said that on the site that there was no coverage, so how did you book? You think I'm lying? I, I did get a signal up on the ridge a couple of days ago, but it's- I'm not lying. I just meant we could try to ring someone. You don't have to. I mean, you could ring someone. 
I'm not going. Well, I'm here another three days. What if I don't believe you? I just think you might have made a mistake with the dates. Maybe you made the mistake. I didn't. Then you're lying. Okay. How can you know you didn't make a mistake? Everybody makes mistakes. All right. Uh, I mean, maybe I made a mistake. So now you're changing your story. Are you always this aggressive? It's an unusual situation. Yeah. Uh, fair enough. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going. Uh, it'll be dark soon. What do you care? Come inside, before you freeze. Sorry if I knew you were coming. You didn't think it might get booked at some stage? Have a seat. Where? Coffee? I'm fine. I was gonna wash it. Just a matter of locating the sink. So how long have you been here? This is day seven. And I'm the first person to have booked it. I get that you don't believe me. Would you? Mistakes happen. Okay. Do you want me to go? No, one of us can go in the morning. You don't have to be scared of me. I know. But you don't believe I have a booking? Dishonest. Dangerous, different categories. Okay. Well, um, make yourself at home. I'll just make this my area. But you can have the bedroom. I, I don't mind sleeping on the couch. Do I want to see the bedroom? I could tidy it. Yeah, I'm happier out here. Fair enough. Are you sure I can't get you anything? I'm fine. Sorry, silly, I uh, can't remember your name. Emily. I'm... Jonathan. It was five minutes ago. I get distracted when people tell me their names. I tell myself not to get distracted to really concentrate, but that just panics me. So I'm thinking about how to stop panicking instead of, you know, just listening to the name. Okay. That never happens to you? Not really, no. Well, you're lucky. Doing it tonight. I'll just get back to my work. Sure.
Would you say paranoid? I'm not paranoid. I just didn't expect. No, sorry. The word is paranoid the right word? For me? For the sentence. Well, without knowing the sentence. Are some people say paranoid. They're both words. So which one do I mean? What's the sentence? Paranoid thoughts pulled at the edges of his sleep. I'd say tugged, I think. It's more insistent. Not sure you need the hint. That's not what I asked. What are you writing? Paranoid or paranoiac? Paranoiac's more correct. Paranoid refers to having the actual psychological condition. Or it used to. Not anymore. So it's your call. How'd you know that? Maybe I don't. Maybe I'm lying. Do you want dinner? You didn't tell me what you were writing. Just a creative writing portfolio. I'm applying for a course in Melbourne. There's a deadline, so I came here to get it done. But why'd you come here? I was hoping to get away from people. Bummer. Paranoic's got a better rhythm for you. It's percussive. And yes, I would like dinner, but I'm cooking. There'll be plenty for two. What's this? Vegetables. Plant-based food form. There's also fruit, nuts, grains. Funny. You want to help cut them up? Sure. We are going to have something with this, right? It's not just, you know... I've got a curry in the freezer, that'd be all right with curry. You have 10 curries in the freezer. They're a good shape. You can fit a lot in a small space. Geometry-based diet, original. If this is all we're having, I'm having it with curry. There's noodles. Okay. And sauce. I pre-made the sauce. Smell it. I know. Round container. Didn't make it through. You're going to take the piss all night? Thought I'd sleep some of it. There is going to be meat, right? You going to catch me something? I don't need to. I've got a curry. Two more minutes. Where's your key? What? The key, the key you used to get in here. I don't know. You don't know where your key is. Oh, what do you need my key for? You've got your own? Which I picked up in town when I showed them my booking confirmation. We're back on not believing me. You never got off it. Where's your key? It'll be somewhere. You weren't worried about losing it? It's not lost, it's just... Well, there are quite a few things I can't locate right now. I'll find it when I tidy. Okay. Good? Had worse. So tell me more about your writing. It's just, you know, creative arts degree, writing major, and Melbourne's a great city. You have to submit three pieces. I won't get in. That's the spirit. I just, I want to know I'm not good enough and then I can just put it all behind me and, you know. What? I just do something sensible. Could work as a cleaner. I probably won't. Who cooked that? 
Maybe I cooked it myself. Read me a piece. What? Read me a piece of your writing. No. You don't know me. Nobody you know knows me. I'm like a figment of your imagination. I would have imagined someone less frightening. Men do that, I've noticed. And then when you meet a real woman, we scare you. You're a feminist. Is that not obvious? Is there a secret sign? If you meet a smart woman, she's a feminist. Not that secret. It's a smartness I miss? You'll miss it more when I'm gone. There's plenty, if you want some. I'm fine. Read me something you've been working on. It's not ready for that yet. You've been here a week. I've done a lot of swimming. I was hoping panic would set in later and just propel me over the line. And then I arrived. My plan's perfect. I'm getting real good at talking to strangers. Good with the silence and cussing in prayer. It's a long way to our house. We should get started I've seen the signs of tall tale dangers Why do you say when the words are not there It's a long road to nowhere We should get started We should get started I'm still searching for wherever your heart is. We should get started wherever your heart is. I'm still searching for wherever your heart is. We should get started wherever your heart is. told me to go where the light is nobody showed you how to get there it's a good time for trying to walk through the darkness we should get started i'm still searching for wherever your heart is we should get started Wherever your heart is, I'm still searching for. Wherever your heart is, we should get started. Wherever your heart is, Okay, you can stop now. No, I already had. Why'd you stop? You just told me to. So I ever told you you're really annoying? Not to my face. You want to know why? I think the confidence is a bluff. I think deep down you're terrified. What? We all have something. Might just go back to my book. Mi casa es su casa. We should split the bill. How much are you paying? Are you really not going to tell me what you think? Friendly enough, a little untidy, accustomed to lying, mostly harmless. My right. I'm not an expert. Doesn't stop you having an opinion. Probably should stop me sharing it. You can't say you want to see my writing and then not tell me what you think of it. What if I didn't like it? Wouldn't it be better just not knowing? I knew it. No, it's just once I've said it's going to become this thing just sitting there and you won't be able to leave it alone. Or maybe next time before you ask someone to explain themselves. You I make... liked it, okay? It was very good. I was just teasing. Really? Yeah, really. See, I think you're just saying that. <laughs> I can't stop you being paranoid. Well, what did you like? There are some lovely phrases. 
The tree that leaned too far over the lives of others. It's beautiful. I liked it too. It's interesting the camera lens is a filter. It's a strong metaphor. What, what didn't you like? What should I change? Uh, no, I don't think so. I'm just asking. I say something, you get offended, and then for the rest of the evening I've got pissed off sulky boy sharing a room with me. I cannot handle sulky boys, just get over it, you know? I'm not sulky. I think you could be. What if I promise? Sulky boys always promise they won't sulk. Okay, well, now I'm gonna sulk. I'm gonna sulk because you wouldn't tell me. I'm not in love with the present tense eye of the camera thing. That's the whole point of the story. It actually isn't. It's a device that brought you to the story. Once you're on the roof, you no longer need the ladder. I think Wittgenstein said that. Well, how are you supposed to get down? A true artist never wants to. You said you liked the lens metaphor. I do, but you don't need it. Okay, well that's bullshit. You asked for my opinion, I gave it to you. Yeah, fair enough. Thank you. Really? What? You're sulking. I'm just thinking. About what? Why you would say you like what I wrote and then rip it to pieces? Here's the thing about sulking, it doesn't actually make you feel better. So you're not content with just criticizing my writing? You asked me to criticize it. I didn't mean it. It's like asking someone if they like your haircut, there's only one answer. I prefer not to lie. But you avoid telling the truth. Is that right? You haven't told me why you're here. I've told you about my writing, I've shown you my writing, I've let you criticize my writing, and you still haven't told me why you're here. To get away from the world for a weekend. It's no big secret. Well, why do you want to get away from the world? Because sometimes the world's a bit shit, okay? I'm sorry, it's, it's none of my business. No, it isn't. I didn't mean to. I think I'd like to get some sleep now. That's right with you. Still pretty early. I came here to rest. I'll do my work in my room. The bathroom's still there. Thank you. There's a spare pillow. I'm fine. Oh, um, yeah, good night then. Good night. I'll find the phone signal in the morning. Okay. It was nice to have met you. Thank you. I'll just, uh... Uh, 
Good night then. Tell me you didn't leave the seat up. Of course I didn't. Do you want me to turn off the light? Yes, please. Into that corner. Yeah, sorry, I was meant to say about them. We'll do something. Like what? Get rid of it. Or give us to him talking to. Hit it with my shoe. You hit it. I didn't create the problem. But neither did I. What you created here was basically a rat hotel. Food, drink, shelter. You're like the Pied Piper without the music. All right, give me a share. Yeah. Take this. I'll flush it out. If it comes near you, whack it. Thing went out the back. It's under the fridge. You sure? One of them went under the fridge. Well, that's fine. It will stay there now. It's warm by the motor, probably already asleep. You're going to move the fridge, and I'm going to be standing here and hitting it when it comes out. You can use my torch. You know, there's a light switch, right? Okay. Forget the torch. Okay, so now it's in the bedroom. It's in the bedroom. What are you doing? Shutting the door. Okay, cool. Thank you. Problem solved. My problem solved. Do you mind if I stay up for a little bit? If you want to. Turn off the light. Use my torch if you want to read.
Perhaps the couch folds out, we could top and tail. You'd be too cold. I could get my sleeping bag from next door. At the point we open that door, we no longer know which room the rat's in, do we? So what do you suggest? Kill the rat and you can sleep wherever you want. With exceptions. We don't know each other well enough for that to not sound creepy. It's funny in my head. You screaming on the bench was funny in real life. But you screamed too. It was pretty big. More like a cat. It's a small dog. You don't think it was a cat, do you? I like cats. It had a scaly tail. Perhaps the fur fell out. A bad curry can do that. I'm not going to get any sleep, are we? Not for a while. Mind if I play some music? Sure. I like it. What's it about? No idea. Most of my favourite songs, I have no idea what they're on about. Most of my favourite people too. Flip's your default setting, isn't it? Do you mind? Not sure yet. Get some clothes on. What are you waiting for? Just, you know, the rat. You're waiting for the rat. Just get myself psyched. It's not still gonna be in there. The door's closed. They can squeeze through a tiny gap. Could have told me that last night. Would you believe me? First you pretend to have a booking, then you trick me into sleeping with you. Okay, way too far. I haven't had my coffee yet. Get some clothes on. Okay, okay. Does the shower work? I don't know. How long have you been here? I swim. Okay, something's not right. Do you need help? No. The water's brown. That'll be rust in the pipes. Probably no one uses it. It's rainwater, you should try to conserve it. That way you don't do dishes. What would the rats eat? So now you're making rat jokes. I pretend to be scared of them, to make you feel better. You leaving would make me feel better.
It was just a joke. There's always a context. Do you want the coffee? What do you have? Coffee. I don't drink instant. Plunger. Yeah, sure, why not? I'll just drink this and get my gear together. Might charge my phone for a few hours. The battery's a bit average. This cloud on those hills, it might rain. Yeah, it doesn't look good. I don't want to send you out in the rain. I want you gone, obviously, but I don't want to be harsh about it. I don't really have any plastic to wrap my stuff in. Can't ask you to get your writing wet. I mean, it's your... Future, really. Might not come to anything. Thank you. The weather. Looks pretty sin over there. Is your gear waterproof? Nah, not at all. Well, that's a shit. Yeah. Sorry. What did you have planned for breakfast? Thought maybe a curry. It's an acquired taste, right? Your comedy? That's what people say. How long does it take to get used to it? Depends. You smart? Not really, no. Maybe never then. Interesting. What? There are two people coming down the road with packs. It looks like the men or women. Both. How very modern. One of each, I mean. So more biblical then. Oh shit, 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 shit. What? Okay, um, I'm not here. You enter the place, you've got the key, keep them talking, I'll get out a window in the back. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to do that. You know nobody's going to believe all this shit is mine, right? Uh, Benji might. Who's Benji? The approaching XY. But you don't know that. How could you know that, because I'm not here? Is this dangerous for me at all? No, not at all, not even a little bit. Keep them talking, you have to keep them talking. Thank you. Hello, I'm Emily. Right, I'm Benji and this is Fran. Hi. Hi. So what are you doing here? I booked the place. Book a batch. Here's my key. This is all my stuff. Um, welcome. So what are you doing here? We booked it. You did book it, right? Of course, totally. What was that? What? That noise. Wind. It's not windy. It was last night. Okay. I know, sounds crazy, right? But I can explain. A window was rattling, kept me awake, so I leaned a thing against it from the outside, but it was a bit precarious, clearly. So we both booked, that's a coincidence? There's no way you screwed up the booking, right? I told her it was this weekend. Told who? My auntie. His auntie owns this place. Oh, right. We used to come up here all the time when we were younger. Not me and her. I didn't know her then, but with my family. That's nice. Sorry about the mess. How long have you been here? Seven days. A, a, a week, seven days and a week. So two weeks? No, seven days, which is a week. I was just doing the conversion. So I suppose your auntie just forgot there was somebody booked in here? You didn't say she rented it out. Something wrong with the bed? Sorry? Your sleeping bag's on the couch. The banging window and rats. Look, I'm sorry if this sounds rude, but how do I know you're not lying? About what? Your auntie owning this place. Well, I don't know. Here, look, here's the key. It's the lock. Is that good enough for you? It's just, I have booked and paid, so, you know. Well, perhaps you're lying. Sorry about him. She might be. Look, key, it's the lock. Turn it. 
Make it ten. It's... I don't know, it's very stiff. See? Maybe it's the lock. Try yours. Okay, yeah, it's seized up. But it worked when you arrived, obviously. Can we sit down, please? Look, I, I know this sounds rude, but I sort of paid for this because I wanted some time by myself. We're not walking all the way back. If she's paid. Yeah, but I've got a key as well. Can you just give us a minute? Okay, sorry. Yeah, of course. What's with all the curries? Just easier. Okay, a lot of curries. You start to get sick of them. You want one? What are you doing? I'm just... You're being rude. Okay, sorry. What if we paid you? Like, refunded the price you paid so that you wouldn't miss out? I kind of need to be here. What does that mean? You can't ask her that. Why not? Because she's not comfortable answering it. How do you know that? Read the room. You realise I never know what you mean by that, right? The problem. Seven minutes past eleven. That's not bad. For what? How long it took you to patronise me. It was how long it took you to notice. And twice. Once the floodgates open. Is it a man? Is what? A man? No, not you. Her. You don't remember her name, do you? You know I've got a problem with that. My mind is so busy. Worrying about not forgetting the name that it distracts you from hearing the name in the first place. See? Haven't said to Benji, Fran, I'm Emily. Emily. Yes, Emily. And no, it's not a man. Can I talk to you outside for a moment, please? I know what you're gonna say. I don't think you do. And I'm sorry. For what? But I was really looking forward to getting to spend some time alone with you this weekend. And, you know, showing you this place where I used to come when I was a kid. Like, sharing it with you. Me too, but as she booked it, it was still a lovely walk. She might let us stay once she realises. Realises what? That we're, you know. You're kind of an idiot, aren't you? <sighs> you love me. Not that particular aspect, no. We could ask her. No. Why not? She'd paid. She's a legitimate right to be here. What if she's lying? She's got a key. I have a sense for these things. Do you, though? Sometimes. We're not asking her to go. Why not? It's weird. But I was so looking forward to this. Me too. Really? Yes, really. You're not behaving like somebody who's disappointed. I'm behaving like a grown-up who's disappointed. Something for you to look forward to. Sounds like giving in to me. Come on, smile. You still get to talk to me. You said you love that. I do. Long walk's a bonus then. Or we could run back and that's half the day's training out of the way already. We have packs. We could go up on the bridge, make it a strength workout. What are you doing? Trying to get rid of them. You just invite them to sit down. It would have seemed odd not to. So it'd be odd just tell them to fuck off. You want to try? I can't. How do you know him? It's a long story. Why can't he see you here? I can't tell you. And maybe I can't get rid of them. It's complicated. I'm pretty smart. It's because of you. Me? Yeah, sort of. Okay, you're full of shit and I'm going to tell them you're oh, here. Please don't. Give me one good reason. Because I think in a moment you're going to be really glad that you didn't. Hello, again. Hi, look, sorry we interrupted your morning. We're just going to go Look, and... to be honest with you, we came here for a weekend together. You know, a romantic weekend. Fuck's sake, Benji. What? I'm not asking, I was just giving her all the information. Yeah, I kind of assumed. We're not staying, don't worry. Thank you. No, of course, you have a booking. Come on.
I can't really ask you to go back out in that, can I? It's not that cold. We don't have coats. I have a coat. What? I was just about to make breakfast. It's late for breakfast. Slept in, you know, rats. Stay if you like, rain might ease. Curry? Omelets, there's plenty. I can make coffee, I'll just clean some cups. Can I help you? Sugar? Don't have any, sorry. There's chocolate. And coffee. Different rules on holiday. So, how long have you two been together? Sorry, if that was intrusive, I didn't mean to pry. No, that's all just hard to answer, kind of. What would you say? <laughs> that sounds like a test. Years, kind of. And days. Yeah, days. Okay, a few years in an unspecified number of days. Not and. More or it's been kind of on again, off again for I suppose two years now. But if you add up all the bits. That would only be days. Not one or two, more like. 50? 63. You counted. Oh, well, keeps things fresh, I suppose. <laughs> How about you? I've been closely attached myself for almost 20 years now. Jonathan. How long have you been with Jonathan? I'm not with. Who's Jonathan? Guy hiding behind the couch. You want to join us or are you happier on the floor? Jonathan, this is Fran. Hi. Emily, you already know, I believe. Yep. So should I ask what you were doing on... Nah. Okay. That was the end of the coffee. Sorry. That's alright. So how long have you been here? Uh, it's seven days up a, a week. You arrived together? I got here yesterday. Oh, okay. I'd bought the place, but when I arrived he was already, you know, 20 curries in. Oh, so you'd also book... Yep. Popular place. Your auntie might need a bit of system for keeping track of it. Yeah, I don't think that's it. Omelets? Why didn't you say there was someone hiding behind the couch? Kind of his business, I suppose. Right. I might, um, help with the food. It's kind of early. We'll call it brunch. You can grate some cheese if you like. I, I don't think there's a grater. No, I don't imagine so. Alright. You're kind of a strange person, aren't you? Well prepared, basic sense of hygiene, honest. Can you see how you might find that unusual? I'll explain later, once I've left. I don't think they're leaving. When the rain is... You guys are staying, right? Thank you, if that's all good with you, Jonathan. Yeah, sure. Why not? Great. Well, 
We'll take the bedroom. You guys can have the couch. It folds out, right? I'll move my stuff later. Nah, we got it. What the fuck? What? What are you doing? You don't like mushroom? You just invited them to stay. You didn't say anything. You know I can't. No, I don't. Because you won't say. But they've gone. Here's your chance. There's nothing to tell. Okay. It would sound stupid. It hasn't stopped you yet. I thought if he saw me here, he'd tell you I didn't book the place. Because I didn't. No shit. And you'd be mad at me for lying. Okay, I'm not. And, you know. No. They'd stay like they have. And I was enjoying it being just us. I was enjoying being with you. I'm sorry, I, I know I shouldn't have said that. No, it's okay. Really? Kind of sweet. But you don't. Don't what? You enjoy being with me. And you're okay with mushroom? Looks great. Don't know why baby spinach always seems fresher. I think it's mostly psychological. Yeah, probably. Pass the salt. So what's going on? Exactly. With you, I mean. What? Nothing. But, but with them, right? Something's going on with them. Something. Like, do you think they slept together last night? What? How would I? Why would I want to know that? But if you had to guess. Maybe. No, definitely not. She just invited us to stay. Why would? She... Are you asking if I think she needs help? No, kind of, but different. Look. If I tell you something now, do you promise not to say anything to them until we've both What just... do I always say about hypothetical promises? Nothing I understand. Okay, I promise. Conditionally. Right. So, I knew Jonathan from school, right? That's how he knows about this place. He came out on holiday with us once. Okay. And back in school, he went out with this girl named Charlotte. And then when they left school, they stayed together. Some couples actually do. Last I heard, they still were together. If she's falling for him, don't you think we should tell her? No. Really? You think we should? Um, yeah. Lives are complicated. You can't go getting involved. But you would want to know if I, I was... I think we both know in the best you're ever going to get. That must be hard for you. I enjoy the gratitude. Wow. What's she like? Charlotte? Kind of intense. Confident, a little self-absorbed. Points for not saying what she looks like. She's pretty. You're a dick. Bed's comfortable. Yeah, I'm not sleeping on these sheets. I feel bad for not saying. I don't even think it's a thing. You really won't stay here. We brought sleeping bags. I didn't. Okay, so you're going to be cold. But then we won't. What? Doesn't matter. Clearly does. I don't like how it ends up feeling like you're doing me a favour every time we have sex. Well, two ways to change that. What are you doing? Just one. Four more weeks. Come on, get changed. How do you even survive? Mostly luck and the generosity of strangers. That's such a male answer. It's such a female question. Who wants the first one? What's in it? Eggs, it's an omelette. Mushroom, spinach, ham. Any cheese? Slice it myself. I will pass. Lactose intolerant? Training. We're running a marathon. Are you supposed to eat more then? You'd think. We're actually going for a run now. In this weather. No way of knowing what the conditions will be on the day. So you can run in this, but you can't walk in? She invited us to stay. Come on, get your shoes on. We'll be a couple of hours, if you're wondering. I thought this was a light day. I think there's a lot of evidence now to suggest we should train more gently. But if you want to go for two hours, knock yourselves out. Oh, yeah, gentle but long, definitely long. Okay, well, I'll just get my shoes. Rain actually looks like it's easing a bit. 
Excellent. Enjoy your run. Are you welcome to join us if you want? Yeah, probably won't. In high school, he used to deliberately forget his PE gear to avoid doing any exercise. How about you? I forget mine by accident. Organisation isn't my strong point. Your omelettes are good. You made them. Fair point. So are we going to talk about this? Do you always separate the eggs? It strikes me as a lot of effort. He's been looking at you strangely. He doesn't expect to see me here. It can be unnerving. I found that. But you're still hiding something. We're all hiding a lot of things. We're like icebergs. Adrift and dwindling. But this is something specific. Is it? I think you know it is. Turns out sometimes you're wrong. Let's do a deal. Let's finish our brunch. Tell me why he's so freaked out by us, or read me another piece of your writing. Out loud? And we con telepathy. You can read it yourself. Can I choose the piece? No. He was hoping for a romantic weekend. We got in the way. So that look you're seeing, that's a look of resentment. We had a deal. And you lied. Now I get to read. I remember the promises we gave each other, sweet and light as candy from the fair, the serious way we spoke them to inch close faces, the ferocious way we fought to make them real. Now we give each other vouchers on our birthdays, redeemable for whatever shit might fill the hole that love has left. Okay, well, that's cheerful. You have to understand the context. Which is? Great omelets. Thank you. You really have to do that? No, and yet I still do. First principle of training. Is it? You need a rest. No. Because if you can't do two hours by now... I don't now, need a rest. Push through the pain. First principle of relationships. Cute. I really think we should tell her. We can talk while we move. Zone two. You can. You're back. Good run? Yeah, not bad. Oh. Hey, uh, Jonathan, the weather's cleared up a bit. Thought we might grab a log, you know, sit on a bit later. You know, campfire like we used to. You want to give me a hand? You don't think I can drag a log? I know she can. Doesn't mean I want to. Nah, I'll do it. So no log. Plenty of logs. But not here. No. Okay. How's Charlotte? You know, same as. Emily seems cool. Yeah. You're a nerd. No. But you want to. 
mostly when I talk to people, I feel like I'm reshaping myself to fit the space they've left me. Conversations become a kind of hiding. But with her, it feels more like undressing. You know what I mean? No. Or she would. It always feels like that at first. Did it feel like that with you and Fran? <laughs> Why do you stay with her? Mostly I don't. Why do you keep coming back to her? Freedom is the right to choose your compromises. She doesn't seem to do much compromise. Picking me was the compromise. That's dismal. It's realistic. You're a dreamer. Is that so bad? I'd rather front foot my disappointment. What well, if some people could help you be a better version of yourself? Lying to her about Charlotte's the better version of you, is it? I'm not lying, I'm just not telling. Not yet. Your book? Yeah, it is. Shall we find a log? Okay, okay, this time I understand the rules. Do you though? Never have I ever eaten McDonald's. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. What about that time after the school ball when we went through the drive-thru? I didn't eat anything. You had some of my fries. Didn't count, it was only a couple. Double. <laughs> We're still training in the morning, you know that, right? Fine by me, I'm still sober. I'm sober. We can stop if you like, it's getting late. No, one more round, you go. The only things I can think of are things I don't want to know about but you. But you can look away. Can't I just pass? No. I know. Never have I ever lied about booking a batch. <laughs> Seriously. So what? Took the key without asking. No big deal. Why? My auntie doesn't trust me. She <laughs> thinks I'm unreliable. Perceptive woman. How did you get in without a key? I picked the lock. There's a lot of tutorials online. I might have screwed the lock a bit though. Sorry. Your turn. Never have I ever taken a shit in the tunnel. <laughs> Thanks for that. Why? Just everything I have to have a reason. You've got to keep it there, friend. You're living the dream. All right, all right. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> Pretty big gap between perfect and shitting in a tunnel. Room for growth. What kind of tunnel? Which time? Really? <laughs> Never have I ever broken into a batch to run away from my girlfriend. It's not like that. Sorry. Let's stop now. So you took that well? Just leave. Are you insane? Angry. Kid. Told you there was something going on between them. Told you to keep your mouth shut. So it turns out neither of us listened. And seriously, you didn't book? What? 
I've never seen you drunk before. I'm not drunk. Kinda like it. In the morning, I'll be sober, you'll still be an idiot. But for now, we're both idiots. I think we should make the most of that. No! <laughs> How could you not tell me that? Didn't think it mattered. Can we stop lying now, please? Just need to pick this up. What's that? My sister. Older or younger? Older by two years. I'm sorry. Yeah. About everything, really. That feels like too much. Just for being a liar is enough. That poem, it was a breakup poem. You broke up? Yes. Recently? Yeah. She doesn't know, does she? It's complicated. Stop talking now. I'm being gentle. See, so you'd be shit at crosswords. I don't doubt it. Gentle is not a synonym for cowardly. Good place to run, no phone coverage. It's to finish my portfolio. At what point are we going to stop pretending to be people we're not? I thought I'd wait till I was dead. Oh, fuck. I'm so sorry. When was it? A month now. I don't know what you're supposed to ask. I've never understood why people get so nervous talking about death. It shows a lack of perspective. It's not like you're going to make it worse. Yeah. Was it expected? Who expects cancer? Sorry, that was unfair. We had time to get used to it. That make it easier? Dunno. Carry her with you now? Fuck no, I've come to scatter them. Oh. She loves the sea. Didn't really turn out quite as you expected then. Not sure what I expected, but yeah, not this. The look on your face when I walked in. It'll make sense now. Mostly that was the mess. How did you not think someone would come here? I didn't know it was rented out. Could have been anybody. What? I think in the circumstances, I could have been just about any young woman and you would have fallen for me. I didn't say I had. No, nah, but we've stopped lying, right? I think you're wrong. You're just being kind. I think we 
all have a vague sense of the personal world we're trying to inch our way towards. And we recognize the people who help us get there. We hope they'll like us. It's a necessary kind of hope, I'd say. What's her name? Charlotte. Really? Shit. What? That's her name. Shit. Fuck. I'm joking. Seriously? Annabelle. Asshole. You really want to race to the moral high ground? Do you want the drink? Not that. There's a wine bladder in the fridge. Classy. To Annabelle? Yeah, to Annabelle. You know, I think in other circumstances you might have had a chance. Kind of wish you hadn't said that. And kind of glad I did, right? Yeah, both of those things. It's a small life that can't make room for at least a few contradictions. Thank you. For what? Still too soon to say.
myself.